Hello and welcome back, as always my name is Lazar and today we'll be talking about amps. More specifically, what are amps, where do I get them and why do I want them? Amps are weapons for your operator and if you don't know what an operator is then you might want to tune out now since spoilers are ahead. Primarily amps deal void damage but they can be modified for arcanes to deal elemental damage as well. While amps can't be modded, they can be outfitted with a single arcane. The main reason we use amps is that void damage, which is currently not obtainable from normal weapons. Certain encounters in Warframe require the player to hit a target with void damage only. For example, Eidolon shields, but more on that just a tad later. Amps are comprised of three parts, a prism, a scaffold and a brace. Many times you will see players refer to these amps through a three digit sequence. For example, one, two, three. The first number represents the prism, the second number represents the scaffold and the third number represents the brace, while the number itself represents the tier or level of the component. So in our case, 1 is the Raplak prism, 2 is the Sharkson scaffold and 3 is the Lauren brace. Yes, the naming scheme is Terabad. But currently in Warframe there are 7 tiers of amps, each tier having 1 prism, 1 scaffold and 1 brace. The tiers follow the order of the standing level, so higher tier components will require higher levels of standing. The first 4 amp tiers can be purchased from Quilonco, while tiers 5, 6 and 7 can be obtained from Little Duck in Fortuna. Keep in mind that these vendors also sell the arcanes for your amps and they can also guild a level 30 amp which will increase the stats of the weapon and is a must for any serious hunter. So in essence, you build your amp, you level it to level 30, then you guild and re-level. The mastery points for these weapons lie in the prism and you can only obtain them after guilding. So what are these amps good for? The current primary use for amps is Eidolon hunting, where the shields of the Eidolon must be damaged down with void damage in order to make the Synovias vulnerable. But there are other uses for amps such as dealing with the Stalker, dispatching Vonvalist plus other sentient targets and it can also come in very useful when doing Kuva siphons. But what amps should I build? Essentially you can build any combination you want but there is a quote unquote meta for Eidolon hunting. The old meta which is X23 and the new meta which is X27, where X is entirely up to the player since for damaging down Eidolon shields we will be using the secondary fire which lies in the scaffold. Primary fire lies in the prism and the brace is mostly a stat stick. So to make things very simple, if you have the necessary voxel iris standing go for an X27. On a more personal note, I enjoy the rapid fire of the tier 4 prism and the critical numbers of the tier 1 prism, so that would be 427 or 127. Make sure to couple these with either Virtuous Fury or Virtuous Strike depending on your own preferences. Now Virtuous Shadow does provide more damage overall but Virtuous Strike is a bit more comfy to use. If you haven't yet mastered Fortuna standing then you might want to focus on an X23 from Quill Onko. But a personal recommendation for the 223. The primary fire of the tier 2 prism resembles an Arca Plasmore shot which makes dispatching Bombalist pretty easy. Oh and for any X23 Virtuous Fury is a solid arcane choice. And with that I'm gonna call it a day. Hopefully now you have all the info you need regarding amps and if the guide was useful to you make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing and if you want to show even more support check out our Patreon page. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. But until next time guys, bye bye!